Hello guys and welcome to a new Terraria video. This time I'm going to show you some easy ways to find sword shrines so that you can get an Arcalis or an Enchanted Sword. I'm not saying that these are the very best way to find shrines, however they do definitely work very well as you can see in the video. The first thing I should mention is where you can find shrines. Small worlds will contain one shrine, medium worlds, three and a large world, four. So if you're purely looking for shrines, medium worlds are most likely your best bet. And the shrines generate below any biome that has a surface laid made of dirt and stone. At least 20% of the map map with away from the world center. And either in the surface or underground layer. And that is quoted from the Terraria wiki. And that seems to be accurate, at least for the worlds I've checked. What you're actually searching for is one block wide path in the ground that will eventually lead to a shrine if you dig down. Now let's get into how to actually locate them. The first method is simply using any bow with jester's arrows. This is probably the easiest method and the, one of the least expensive ones to find the shrines. And it's probably the one that I recommend the most. What makes this method work is because when you fire Jester Shadows, they hit the ground, particle effects will continue through the blocks and they can cover a pretty big area. And depending on the bow you're using, you can fire quite a lot of arrows straight through the ground so that you can cover all of the ground so you don't, so you don't miss the shrine. The second method is using a Star Fury. The Star Fury is a sword that can be found in Skyward chests or Skyward crates that can be found on floating islands. Note that these no longer require golden keys to open which is great. What you want to do is aim the cursor slightly ahead or back from your character so that the stars will fall on the ground. When the star hits the ground shiny particle effects will emit and light up the ground where it hits. This is a very good method if you have access to the Star Fury as it is completely free to use once you've found it. The only kind of annoying part is that it doesn't cover too much ground, and you have to spam your mouse, which can be quite annoying. So the third method is actually one that I came up with myself, at least I've never seen this before, and that is throwing grenades on the ground. You want to aim the grenades to land after the players so you won't get hit by them. This can be a pretty expensive method since the grenades cost 75 copper each, but if you've got the money, it can be a decent method. Note that you will also need sticky grenades, so that they stick to the location you want them to. All you need is 5 grenades and 1 gel to create sti 5 sticky grenades. This will make sure that they don't roll off to where you don't want them to go. The fourth one is using a weapon called Flame Lash. This is a very good method as well. All you have to do is click and hold the mouse so the flame appears, and then hold it slightly in front of the characters while you're running. This will light up large parts of the underground, since the flame kind of drops flames down to the ground. There's one problem though, you can't get the flame lash until you've defeated Skeletron and ob obtain a shadow key. And at that point you're pretty much at the end of pre-hard mode, meaning that the Arcalis isn't all that useful anymore sadly. So the fifth method is really only for you collectors out there. And it's using a solar eruption weapon, which pretty much you can only get in the end. This weapon goes straight through blocks and light up large parts of the underground and it fires super quickly. But as I said, this method is only viable for people who want to collect weapons for the sake of collecting them. Because once you've got the solar eruption, well it's kind of one of the best melee weapons in the game, so the Arcalis isn't that powerful anymore. And the last method is simply using a map editor. For most people this would be considered cheating and I can agree on that. But if you really want this weapon you can use the map editor to see the entire map and reveal where all of the shrines are. Anyways I hope you found this video helpful. If you did please like, comment and subscribe and share this video to your friends. And I hope to see you in the next video.